I'm uh, making, I'm Tiffany Gibson. Uh, my husband and I own Beach and Rights. Um, I'm making this statement very specifically to address the overreach, harassment, and intimidation tactics used by the city marshal's office, specifically Butch Stroud. Um, these are my experiences, but as I've seen, sunlight is the best disinfectant, and I am not alone. Um, I've had many interactions with Butch. Starting from day one of opening our 61st Street location, he came skidding into my parking lot and yelled at me about being 12 inches too close to the street. Um, he was right, and I complied. Um, from there, I don't know, I could probably write a short novel on the experiences I've had with him. Um, but I'll narrow it down. Uh, and to preface, I, I learned pretty quickly that not only am I following the ordinance, city ordinances, but I'm following Butch's law. Um, as a local business owner, and I'm in the controversial you know, business of peddling golf carts, I understand that. Um, but I've been under strict scrutiny, specifically by Butch. Um, and it you know, varies day to day, it's uh, Butch's laws. Um, I have documented and recorded him fabricating laws, misinterpreting laws. Um, so for instance, last March, upon Butch's recommendation, he told me to put a cart on seawall to advertise. I, three signs later, he found one that he liked, $1,000 later for me, and uh, he was happy, all was well, everything was, you know, copacetic. Last month, he showed up at the store and informed me that uh, if he found our cart parked on seawall, he was gonna come in and go through my contracts and make sure that it was a rental cart. And here, let's just, uh, I'll let him say it. To tell, to tell my manager that you're gonna come into the store and go through the contracts, that's a whole other issue, Butch. You can't, that, that is, so don't play games with you. I'm not trying to play games. But what I'm saying is you have no right to come into my store and go through my contracts. I'll go get a judge's order, a search warrant, and I will search every piece of paper. Why? Yeah. Why? You're going to come into my store and search every piece of paper I own for what? And this is the stuff I deal with every single day. He sits a block down from my store for half an hour for what? I, don't, I haven't gotten citations for anything until recently. My 19-year-old daughter got six criminal misdemeanor tickets. Why? Is this, is this what we want to portray? And don't confuse the marshals with GPD. That's right. That's Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Good, how are you doing? Good. My name is Butch Stroud. I'm the city marshal. Hi, I'm, hi Butch. I'm right. Erica. The uh, reason I'm here is to bring you up to speed on the regulations for rental of... Can you put me in? Tell Butch I'm on speakerphone. Tiffany's on speakerphone. All right, Tiffany, you get it first hand <laughs> this way. How's it going? Good. <laughs> uh, What's going on now? Uh, the, the issue is where the golf carts are being parked for rental. The, okay. Land uh, LDRs do not allow vehicles for rent to be stored in the city right away or parking spaces. They have to be on private property to be rented. So the golf carts that are being parked in the parking lanes or in the city right away have to be put on private property. They can't be in the 
in the right of way of the parking lanes to be prior to being rented. So it can't be parked out in the front of the store. That's correct. Okay. So he's saying we can't park the golf carts out in front, Tiff. Oh, well, that's going to definitely pose a problem. Um, well, I mean, I, uh, I, I'll have to pay for parking on the seawall then because i got to park the cart. You can't park them on the seawall uh, if they're not rented. That's so they got to be rented to park them there? Yes, ma'am. They have to be rented to someone uh, before they can be parked along the seawall. Uh, so if someone rents it and you pay to park, then they can drive down the seawall somewhere and park and they don't have to pay because you've already paid for the year-long pass. But you can't store inventory that's to be rented or sold for vehicles on the city yeah. right-of-way. Uh, it has to be on private property to be rented. So how far, how far out from the building do I have before that becomes sidewalk? Uh, in the sidewalk? <laughs> it's immediately well, right... Five, five feet. I mean, I've got five. Um, the surreys go on the sidewalk. You can have you can have up to six surreys on the sidewalk, provided there's five-foot unrestricted access to walk down the sidewalk. That's in the ordinance. And it specifically says Surrey's. So it doesn't differ. It does differentiate. It's not a bicycle. It's not a moped. It's a Surrey by ordinance. Like I said, no more than six. Okay. Um, well, I mean, I guess. Yeah, that's a huge problem for us. Uh, that's not just you. It's everybody on the seawall because. This is my second stop today, and I'll be making the rest of them as when I leave here, giving them the same well, news. Well, it should only be, what, just the one other that parks them on the street. So. Um, yeah, uh, what's his name, Bert? Uh, then another one there right past, uh, before you get to Academy. Um, Chad Jones has his parked in the parking spaces. Oh, he does? Yep. Yeah. Oh, I thought they considered that. Is that not uh, That's a right of way. Parking, nope, it is parking, but it's not storage. You can't store your vehicles for rent or sale in the city right of way or city parking. And the parking spaces is the right of way for the city. We own it. So it's not private property. But then that has nothing to do with behind the building. I uh, haven't pulled up your survey. You may want to pull the survey up and see exactly where your your property line is and make sure that well, you're the, yeah, the it, angle it, parking it, is not there. I'm not sure. But yeah, no, that is part of the building. Um, I mean, there are some. It's been fuzzy between the hotel and the Jungle Surf building, but that that's not the city right away. So, um, and there's no way to permit to get a permit for those. No, I'm gonna give the person here a limited use uh, sworn affidavit, which is what they should have had all along anyway. Uh, for the use of the commercial property and it specifically spells out what you can use it for and and that's what you can use the property to be used for so uh, okay. I'm, I'm gonna give her that uh, but you can't get a license to use city right away for business purposes okay I have another so another issue that we've got and I I'm guessing I can't put golf carts back here anyway but um, We've been, I've got employees that need to park behind the building. And I've, I've told that they can't park on the street there because we hey, need Jesse. a residential hey. parking permit. That's so correct. They, as employees, can they get a residential parking permit? No, ma'am. Only residents get those. So, so they can park on seawall then? They can park so on the seawall, yes. As long as they're not renting their car out. What's going on? Um... He said that we can't park the golf carts in front of the store anymore. Why is that? Because the ordinance prohibits. But uh, right here, though? In this little triangle where you have the surreys, you can put them. What about right here? No, that's city right away. Isn't that parking? That's city right away. You can't park something for rent in the city right away. Okay, so the. Uh, technically, isn't the sidewalk only five feet wide? You can park Surrey's on the city right of way, provided you have five feet of 
distance between uh, unobstructed passageway. Okay. Uh, nothing other than a Surrey by ordinance. Okay. You can't park any motor vehicle for, for rent or for sale in the city right of way. Okay. It has to be on private property only. But this this is uh, your this is private property. Uh, your property line comes to probably right about there. Okay. The rest of this from here, as far as you can, other side of the seawall is city right of way. Okay, so you can have this Jeep parked here though? As long as you're not renting it out. Okay, so it says in the ordinance that we can't have rent? Because literally everyone in town does this. You're the second stop. So what brought this on? Violations. We've been doing it for. Just because you do it don't mean it's legal. So where's the same thing that you got to do it? Pardon me? Because like, I've read these well, top to bottom. Let me, who's, whose business is it? Maybe I'm this, talking I'm the about. owner. Okay, well, here you go. Here's a limited use affidavit. Okay. That's what you could, you need to get filled out. Take it to Daniel for the use of the commercial property. Okay, it limits your idea. use to your commercial property. For this here. No, for this right here. And so this. the ordinance re specifically says if you, for rental or sale of motor vehicles, they have to be kept on private property. They cannot be used for city right of way okay. to be stored. So, so I'm all good here, though, right? That's all good. Yep. I'll have to check on your your parking back here because I don't know exactly where your property line is. Yeah, it's, uh, I looked at it, but uh, it actually comes all the way to right here. Yeah, but so this technically isn't. So what about this way? Yeah, if I mean, I'm speculating, I would say this is probably your property line, and this is the roadway. So that tells me that all this stuff's going to be angled or parallel parked and not pulled in, because now you're yeah. in the city right away. And that's fine too. I mean, either way, we can fit two parts in there. Then yeah, that's fine with me if that's what we got to uh, do. I mean, as long as they're not in the city right away. Yeah. Now, you can't put them back there behind the GNC store on the grass and stuff like that. It has to be on. Yeah, they're just putting some tractors in. I understand, just, uh, and they. Smart idea. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So no, we gotta have trackers. <laughs> uh, a smart idea. We've already we had one stolen so, last year. So. All right. Back oh, you're Butch. I'm Butch. Oh, I'm Jesse. <laughs> nice to Good meet you. Good to meet you. All you right, like Tiffany, I'm back. <laughs> hey, Butch. I'm not trying to be. Uh, I'm not trying to be slide anything in here. Clear. That's not going to be not enough. My own personal car that I don't rent out. Am I able to park in front of the building? Because I always do. No, ma'am. So no, absolutely no go. go no, nope, that's no. advertisement. You can't do that. Well, if it doesn't have any signage it, on it, literally have no. I don't put signage on my own. So yeah, they have. have we have our own personal golf cars too. There right. If there's no signage on it, and it's not for rent, and it gets driven, and it's not just stored in the right away for advertisement, we can go with that. But, but I'm not gonna. We're not gonna cut hairs here. Drive that thing everywhere. I, I understand. Well, so do our employees. Yeah. They drive cars too. So. But yeah. we're not going to cut hairs here. We'll let the judge make the determination what you're doing if we get to that point. And I don't want to do that. That's the reason I'm here trying to let you know yeah. what you can and can't do. And okay. we're not going to what if this thing to the end because mm -hmm. we'll let the judge what if it. So there's no way no way around that parking on that no. on the road there? Ordinance prohib prohibits it. Okay. I know this. Can, I know it's been happening. I know it's, but it's come to a head, and now everybody's going to be dealing the same cards with the same rules, and they have to. And it's going to be enforced the same. Okay. So there's going to be no golf carts parked in the city right away for rent or sale. Okay. Uh, they'll have to be on private property. What? It, what if we were to uh, park on the other side of the street? Nope, that's pay, city right away. Nope, that's city right away. Well, we can park because them underneath. Because you already pay right? for them, I know that. Yeah. So that's the reason I'm saying uh, this specifically says private property. And that's how it would be enforced. Unless they're rented out, obviously. Unless they're rented out. Okay. And so uh, if if... For devil's advocate, understand if we find one parked along the seawall and we have reason to believe that it's not rented out, we're going to come over here or wherever it is and we're going to find out who's it rented to okay. and you're going to have a phone number for them because I know you get their phone numbers yeah. and we're going to contact them okay. and then we're going to do an investigation. And then if 
it's not technically rented out, then it's a violation and you'll be cited. I don't want to do that. Yeah. But I'm well, also not going to play games. Park carts under the awning right here, right? Yeah. Sure. That's your property. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. It'll be okay, Jesse. Oh, I'm fine. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so the, no, the big cool. thing is you need to get this thing filled out no, I mean, I and, and take it to, I mean, if to, we, if to Daniel. If you park them on the road, that's fine with me. Nobody's going to be uh, able to park them on the road. Yeah. Not just Nobody you. Okay. Nobody in Gallo is going to be parking vehicles for rent or sale in the right of way. It'll be on private property. So what is uh, Burke going to do then? He's he don't have nowhere to He's going to comply or he's going to get cited for each one every day. Well, I'm thankful that we have this little area at least. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm trying to follow the rules, but I just want to make sure that we're, uh, oh, I, we're on the same page. I'm. Uh, you still there, Tiff? I'm not trying to argue with you okay. or anything. You know I, what I mean? I'm, I'm with you, and I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, it's just understand that it's not just you; yeah. it's everyone. No, I get it. Okay. Yeah. No, get so you're just my second stop. I'm making my way down the seawall. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm gonna let you go. Good. Okay. Okay, bye, Tim. All right. Yeah. Any questions? I got one. All right. I got it. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks, Have a good day. All right. Have bye. A good one. You too.